Hi and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. This is a short video for a very specific purpose. If you have or are intending to build a CNC machine using an Arduino Uno running Gerbil software and you want to use it to control a VFD driven spindle such as this one then this video should be of interest to you. Let's get busy! The Gerbil software outputs a pulse stream where the mark space ratio gives a speed demand. A low signal means zero speed. Fully on means the maximum speed as set by the commands. In between the mark space ratio gives a variable speed. If you're using a DC motor as a spindle then that's quite useful. Fed directly to the motor gives a fairly crude but usable signal for speed. The VFD however requires two signals a digital signal to tell the spindle to run and an analog voltage either 0 to 5 or 0 to 10 you usually get a choice to say what speed you require. So we have to drive both of these signals from the Gerbil pulse stream. Firstly let's look at the run signal. We can do this with what is called a retriggerable monostable. Basically this generates a pulse which if it's longer than the input stream will be solid as long as you get a, a pulse stream coming in. The circuit is fairly straightforward. The pulses come in and the output remains solid. To convert this into a pull to ground we stick a transistor on the end. Here I'm using a BC182L but almost anything will do. The analog signal is generated using this circuit. Take a screenshot if you want it. The first stage is a switch which switches between 0 and 12 volts every time the pulse changes. It's aggregated in the middle to give a DC voltage which is then buffered. The whole circuit will fit on a pretty small circuit board. Here is mine mounted in my CNC machine. You will need to set your max speed slightly higher than the actual speed. This is to compensate for the 12 volt drive rather than 10. It also means that you get a constant pulse stream even at maximum output. It never stays just high. For me in a 24,000 rpm spindle, 25,000 rpm as the max speed setting worked well. It's very close to the actual speed. Well, I hope that solved a problem for you. If not, why not try again? Lots more to come. Bye for now.